And we are back again. This time, we're going to be trying out 4.3 Russia. Ignore the fact that it says 5.3. Kind of forgot to change that. Also, I literally swapped one of the tanks out, so that's one of the reasons why. The one tank I do want to get, which I hopefully will get this video, is the ISU-152. I kind of neglected this entire line, mainly because when I was playing Russia, I was going straight for the T-80 BBM, and then I had to go back down and do the T-90. But... Hopefully when we get this thing, it'll be an absolute beast because the amount of times I've come across this thing, I have not lived to tell the tale. Uh, I kind of The replacement vehicle I've got at the moment is the SU-85A. <laughs> not great. I think I got it in like 2018, like playing the game or something. I, I can't really remember, to be fair. But yeah, someone did point out in the last video, uh, there was a T-34, like a a 4.0 version, just I think it was Finnish. Yeah, it was the Finnish T34 in a 6.0 or a 6.3 game even, which I completely overlooked. But yeah, some bad camouflage placement. Ignore that. But we'll go to a game anyway. May as well start in the T3457. <laughs> All right, let's go. I don't know why I was going that way. Maybe I should go. Oh, I'll go to the A point. I always go C on this map. Although it looks like I'm kind of just driving out to the B point. I'm probably going to get shot, aren't I? Someone's bring, brought the Breda. I do have that. But I don't really play Italy. Some artillery on the A point. Thank you for revealing our position. Just keep shooting at that guy. I mean, they're probably nowhere here anyway, but. Sounds like there's someone on my left below me. I don't know why I'm having such a difficult time spotting people. Ooh, uh, never mind, I do see some. Please, please, please. There goes that guy. There's someone beyond this wall here. The plane is really loud and obnoxious, I'm not gonna lie. This is a risky play on my part, but... Ah, oh, Russian gun depression is my favorite thing in this game. Uh, please just ignore me, sir. Please. Thank you. Just stay still, please. Please, please, don't shoot. Thank you. Uh, there was someone else in front of me. There you are. Hello. Uh, I mean, that works, I guess. Uh, yeah. I, I had a feeling that was coming at some point. Yeah, I should have kind of kept an eye on spawn. Oh, well. Yeah, I really have some stupid bush placements for my tanks, I'm not going to lie. Also, I think, uh, yeah, I've, I've loaded HE first. Ow, how smart of me. Why can't they have ARB battles where you can only see your teammates' icons instead of, like... Because in, in Ground RB, they seem to do it really well, where you can't see the enemy's name. You can only see their outline of their plane, or just their plane in general. KV-1 is having a bit of a tough time. I'm going to join him and be stupid. Oh, here you go. Uh, hello. Um, oh, I, yeah. Well, thank God he hit that because I aimed at the wrong point. Not the smartest move I've ever done. Uh, there's that Panzer IV again. There we go. I feel like they're just going to end up coming to me. It's a really scubby thing to do, spawn camping them, but I mean, everyone does it. How has he not seen me? Oh, uh, yeah, I should have gone for the turret I don't know why I thought that was going to go through. Because I'm so used to shooting Shermans in the front plate and then just dying instantly. Alright, let's pop our head around the corner. Let's see what we've got here. Hello. Goodbye. There's not many of them left, so I, I don't feel as bad doing this. You know, it'd be nice if um, there was some decent map balance. Or like, some sort of system where you can't get spawn trapped. Because sometimes when you play matches, the issue stems from either one team just absolutely stomping you, or the other team just doing the same. There's no like, balance to it. 
The other thing I don't like is having to wait for the match to end when you clearly won at this point and there's no comeback. Oh, ah, uh, that's a shame. Hey, I finally got it. And I would like to drive this thing. Yes, please. I would like to get rid of the SU. If I keep going down this line, I do get some funky... I haven't even got all the crew um, slots for this, or the modifications even. Yeah, I kind of want to go down this line and finish it at some point, because I do want to try and get the Object 775. It is probably the goofiest looking tank I've seen in War Thunder. Right, I am excited to play this thing since uh, I've died to it so many times. Now this is stock, so... Oh, that's a uh, Calliope. Interesting. I've not seen one of them in a while. Just also because of how expensive it is. But yeah, as I was saying, this thing is stock, so no parts for repair if my barrel gets shot out, which is kind of sad. It is rather quick as well, which I was not expecting for such a mean-looking tank. Oh, uh, that's, that's Please kill him, Calliope. There's someone on my left. Yeah, it's not not the greatest idea to be sat on here. Uh, I wasn't expecting the reload to be so slow. But then again, it is a tank destroyer, so I don't know what I was expecting. Let's get out of the middle of this, uh, this mess. Now I see them all. That Calliope is on full send in this game. I finally got to kill this match. Um, this is a rather awkward, this is rather awkward for me and you, I think. <laughs> Goodbye. Alright, let's just wait for this 20 second reload, I want to say. I should probably go to the left side, because I don't really want to pawn camp him like I did last time, that's kind of just boring. At the same time, I also don't want to risk getting shot. I feel like that guy is going to come back with a vengeance. Um, yeah, speaking of which, hello. Where are you? There you are. Um, well, it looks like I can't be leaving this spot yet because I'm just getting shot at. There goes one of my tracks. Uh, I can't really see through the tree. Yeah, that works. I've become the very thing I didn't want to, and that was sat spawn camping them. <laughs> my first impressions of this tank so far are uh, pretty positive. Also, this is probably one of my favourite maps in War Thunder. So hope I don't get shot in the back now. Punishment for uh, camping these poor people. Ah, just the shot just went straight over him. That is so sad. It's fine. We are slow. We have time. Uh, we do not have time for that, though. He's probably signaled the cavalry. They know I'm here. We're just going to push anyway. Uh, I hope he... Is he pushing? The Panzer three. Although his buddy, the, the big guy, is behind there somewhere. There goes him. Uh, yeah. Was waiting for that to happen. Uh, oh no, I, uh, I don't have the the bomb unlocked for it. You can tell I have not used the P8. Do we have a backup for this? No. The victory is near. You know what, I want to use it again, so I'm just going to use it back. Anyway. Why does this feel like the start to a horror movie driving down here? Like, the amount of tank corpses just like lined up. It makes me feel like something bad is beyond the hill. This is what happens when you spawn camp one side and leave the other side completely undefended. I mean, there's literally two of our teammates in sport, their spawn. Well, the three of them are capping the B point. Let's try and get over to the B point because there's like a whole congregation of them just sat on there. We are a tank destroyer, so it would not be wise for us to just instantly charge. Come on, up the hill. Come on. I see you hiding behind there. I think he's... Yeah, he's died. Alright, let's get the cap. 
Uh, I should probably should have just went and capped the A point anyway, since they just got bombed. Isn't it most Soviet tanks were designed so when you took your foot off the accelerator, that's when it would begin to accelerate, or the brake even, which is a great way, great to show commitment to the cause by uh, not retreating. You have alerted the ISE on the brake, uh, but his gun depression is so bad that I can't even shoot you anyway. Please let me just... There we go. I'm going to turn so I don't get killed. I see you behind there, good, good man. Please just wait your turn. Oh, my machine gun got shot out. Right, he did just die. Uh, but there's someone else over there. I did. Yeah, I think you're behind the tree. Let's take the shot. Come on. Uh, nice. Hello. Oh dear. That is Puma. Let's just back off. That is another one I'd like to try out, actually. It's a very just ratty tank, isn't it? Uh, and thanks to my amazing skill, I just died to the same guy who I was shooting at. Did, I think three of our teammates just died within the span of one second. They're going to decap the B point now. I can already see it. Yeah, I, I called it. I think it's that Puma. I'm going to say it is anyway. Oh, the tree. Why? There we go. That, that, was, that was too close to come for that. There is someone else on my right. You teammate who alerted that. There you are. No, no, no. The brakes. The brakes. The, the brakes. <laughs> He's, oh, he's gonna be on there. Uh, I think he's he is 100 percent seen me. There's no way he hasn't. I am a sneaky man. So are you. Uh, he, he always just gets out of sight. This is literally a game, cat and mouse right now. And I uh see this is what I mean. Two sidetracked on him to notice. I want to say that's cost us the game, but there is a guy rushing straight to the C point. Let's try and not make the same mistake again. I need to um, sip this energy drink more. I think that is the reason why it's not going so well. Oh, and we won. I forgot how easy it was to research modules for tanks when you play in the lower tier. I ended up giving the ISU the uh, the bush treatment. I think he looks uh, looks a lot better now. No, who am I kidding? No one is going to spot this thing in battle. I, I swear it. If you're wondering why the crew is locked, I did just play another one on um, Stalingrad. However, yeah, it just didn't go well. As in, at all. Fingers crossed, this one will go a bit more smoothly. How tiny that thing is. It's just a little baby. <laughs> I don't know about you, uh, you guys, but there are like certain maps I do really well on, and then there are just some where I just look at it, and I feel like I've already lost the mental battle before I even go into it. Maybe, maybe that's just me. You think after a couple thousand hours of playing this game, my strategy would adapt and become slightly more consistent, but I feel like it's just still random, no matter what match I go into. Now, I said my bushes weren't going to be very effective, but this is a map where there is a lot of bushes, especially in this middle part. There we go. Don't, don't hold B, well, press B on your binoculars and then hold left click like I did there. <laughs> Goodbye. Oh, I've been tracked. I see him. We get guns on. No, not quite what I wanted. There we go. We make the slow approach towards their spawn. Now, a lot of them are still behind that train line. However, this guy is coming around the side, I think. 
critical hit. I feel like HE would be better on this guy. Um. Yeah. Yeah, watch out, buddy. There, there, uh. I have, uh, I push up too far. Is HE gonna work? Yes. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why I doubted HE not working. We're definitely gonna need HE for that guy who I did see back there, which I don't know what tank it was, but. It had an open roof, so you just know a tank like that is going to die for this. Um, you are rather annoying. <sighs> that is the concern I have. Please don't look at me. Please don't look at me. Please don't look at me. Yep, 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 yep. There we go. Um, let's get back into our little hole down here. Because there's still quite a lot of them about. Goodbye. This thing is actually really fun to use. I don't know if it's just because people don't know where to shoot you. Uh, yeah, I don't know why. He's just going to push me now and see. Yeah, he got my track. Come on, please. Please. Thank you. Thank you. That was a close one. Oh, well, we finally got put put down. Damn. Yeah, that was definitely going to do it if it was going to be something. I would not want to be someone in World War II seeing this thing approach me on the battlefield. I think the match is going to end before I can kill someone with this. Yeah. Yeah, and that is low to mid tier Russia. Some pretty uh, pretty fun tanks to use there. You've got the T-34, obviously very fast, mobile, speedy. Uh, also a paperweight, so you can easily just get one tap. But then you have the, the strong, heavy tanks like the ISU-152. Strong armor, very slow reload rate. But then again, you already knew that coming into this when you were going to pick that tank. And obviously the P-8, if you actually get it maxed out, you get a really powerful 5,000 pound bomb. 5,000 kilogram bomb even. Yeah, anyway. I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, I'll see you in the next one.